Hello everyone. Welcome to Go VM Lab. In this lecture, we are going to learn about VMware V Realize Login Site product. VMware V Realize Login Site is one of the very powerful troubleshooting product which provides a visual representation of the log data and help user with the ability to quickly visualize and translate log data to identify potential issues in their environment. Not only that, it also gives us capability to create custom dashboard based upon useful metrics to monitor as well as visualize. So now with that, let's get started and let's try to visualize we realize login site dashboard. So now as you could see that this is our VMware we realize login site login screen. So we are logging to that particular product with the username as admin and the password of that user. So click here to login. And as you could see that we are successfully logged in to our we realize login site. Now, if you do see that we have a two different pane of this we realize login site product. That's our top pane as you do see that which has a, a different options called dashboard, interactive analytics, content packs, log sources and administration. On the left side, we do have a side pane which is actually giving us a lot of information. For example, it gives us information about dashboards. Then it also has a something called content pack. And what are the content pack we have installed? We have a relevant dashboard for all of those content pack. If you look at that, currently in this particular lab infrastructure, we do have a content pack for Linux, Microsoft, VROps, vSAN, and vSphere. So now let's do one thing. Let's let me uh, navigate you through uh, each of these uh, various options which are available in our login site dashboard. So now the very first option, what do we have it is a default view, which actually take us to the dashboard option. Now, as we discussed, we realize login site, it actually help us to analyze and translate all of the log data in a much more visual representation way. And as you do see that, that's an amazing dashboard. What do we get it from this we realize login site? Now, if you do see that the first section, it talks about the time, like what is the time you would like to look at the data. So currently by default, it actually gives us latest five minutes of data, but we can always go and select the, the data with the timestamp what we are interested into. So you could have a last hour of data, latest 24 hours of data, latest 40 hours of data, and you do have a custom time range. So as of now, let's keep it to the default value of last five minutes of data. That's the latest data. The next section, what do we have it is basically uh, filtering it out this particular dashboard for a specific host name and source. So if you want to filter it out all of these dashboard to a specific host, you can use this filter option. We will be walking you through with the specific host name filtering option and how do we go and filter out this entire dashboard for a specific host name. But as of now, let's move on to the next section. Now the next section, what do you see that these are called widgets. So now we do have a multiple widgets for this particular dashboard. So very first widget, if you do see that it says number of events by host name. So now if you do see that currently this particular login site is collecting data and analyzing this data from all these hosts as you could see that ESX 04A32, right? So as you could see that currently this login site is collecting data from all of these host and then it is giving us the ratio that which all the hosts are giving or contributing in more number of events. So if you do see that this is a blue section of our pie chart which actually coming from our ESX 04 host. Similarly, if you do see that the orange one is, is something which is referring to our ESX 01A host, right? So that's how you could go and visualize it that which all the hosts generating more number of events. The next section talks about number of error events by host name. So the first section talks about number of events generated by all of these host name. The second section talks about number of error events by that host name. And if you do see that most number of error events are actually generated by either your ESX 04 a host or this particular host, which is actually ESX 05 a host. So now this we realize login site gives us such a 
such a beautiful representation of our log data where we are seeing all of the log information at one centralized place and it gives us a pretty a good information about that which all the host in our vSphere environment is actually generating a lot of error events. The next widget what we have it is number of events over time. So it gives us information about the events with respect to timestamp that what particular time those events have been triggered and similarly it also gives us information about number of error events over the time. So as you could see that 858, 859 we do see those kind of events are getting triggered. Now the next section what do we have it in the wizard? The next wizard what do we have it is unique event types. Now this is one of the very powerful thing about we realize log insight product where, where what it does is actually it actually collect all of the events from every single host which is actually configured for we realize log insight and it actually go and use smarter algorithm to aggregate all of the common event as a single event type so we don't see repetitive event or duplicated event what do we see in our respective log file we realize log insight actually go aggregate all of those common event as a single event and it show it in a much more responsive way so that's what a unique event type is all about it unique error event type is another one of the very powerful widget of this particular dashboard of we realize log insight where what it does is it keep looking all of those error events which are being generated by the vSphere infrastructure host components and then it actually go and use the smarter algorithm to bucketize all of these unique error events into a into a single event and and removing removing all of the duplication of those unique error events so we don't need to see all of those duplicate events again and again and it actually bucketize and give us a, a useful information about those unique error event so that makes a, a root causing a potential issues in our environment much easier than just going through the respective esxi host log files and just browsing through over that log file now if i just scroll down you do see that it gives us information about number of exception events by that host name so it says that no results so currently there are no exception specific events in the infrastructure and if you do see that the last widget what do we have it is number of warning events by host team like what all the warnings have been triggered by this specific host name and what all the hosts are, are, are generating those warning events so that's again a pie chart as you could look at it and if you want to get into a specific host level information you can actually go and get that information as well so that's a pretty much about this dashboard section as you could see that now let's move on to the next section is interactive analytics now this is one of the another very powerful section of we realize login site this interactive analytics option gives us a lot of capabilities as a vSphere admin engineer or vSphere architect to go and run the query against those logs in a much more plain language or using some regular expressions and gives us a lot of capability to debug and root cause potential issues so let's click on interactive analytics and let's try to see that what kind of information we get it from this interactive analytics so now if you do see that as soon as we click on interactive analytics it gives us again a very good visual representation of all of the events what has triggered over the period of time as you could see that now as we discussed that interactive analytics where we can go and run our search queries and that's where vmware has provided this option for search queries and right side we do have a option where what amount of data you want to run this search query do you want to run this search query on last five minutes of data or maybe last one hour of data or maybe last seven days of data so as of now let's do one thing let's select the last latest one hour of data so now as you could see that as soon as we select latest hour of data again the metric get changed at the runtime now this is the search query so let's say i just want to do the search for maybe you just type vpxd because i'm more interested into the vpxd specific logs and as soon as you type search queries vpxd it gives you other different options right there so now let's say if i just select vpxd with this wildcard click on the search query and you will see that it actually go and show all of the vpxd specific information it filters out all of the other log events and it just give us relevant log information what we are interested into and that is very specific to vpxd now if you could see that currently this vpxd event might be coming from various log host like this is my esx03 host as you rightly see that now if you just scroll down 
we might see the information coming from ESX01 host as well, ESX04 host as well. So now, what does that mean? It means that currently the search query is returning the results across all of the hosts which are actually uh, forwarding information to the VRealize login site. And VRealize, VRealize login site algorithm is just looking at the VPXD log and populating that information right there in this interactive analytics. What if I am only interested into a specific host information? And that's where you do see that they have provided a different field option. So for example, click on host name and let's say currently it says that it is actually populating information from all of these hosts. Now what all these hosts, if you just hover, it will give you that 888 events have been triggered from this host, ESX04 host. If you hover to the other one, it will tell you that 853 events have been triggered from ESX03 host. Now what host I'm interested into as of now, let's say ESX03 host. So I'll just click there and look at that. It actually go and apply the filter. And if you do see that now the filter has been applied where we are only interested into host name which contains ESX03. And if you do see that now it will only show the events which are very specific to ESX03 host. Look at the beauty of this particular product. It really simplifies analyzing and troubleshooting the information with such a visual representation and such a interactive interface what this VRealize login site provides us. So this concludes our lecture on VMware VRealize login site where we have walked you through the overview dashboard of our VRealize login site where we have seen that how VRealize login site gives us visual representation of our log data and help us to find out the potential issues in our vSphere environment in much more simplified way. We have also discussed about interactive analytics where we can go and do the query on the log data and get much more deeper information about the issues what we have encountered in our vSphere environment. Now stay tuned for our next lecture where we are going to walk you through the remaining options. What do we see in our log insight section like content packs, log sources and administration. So see you in the next lecture. We really hope you enjoyed this lecture. Thanks for your time. Please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.